And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the distorted CRT effect in Aftermath. I hope you guys liked the preview. I thought it was a very cool and unique effect that I'm going to be showing you guys today. And if you guys like the CRT aesthetic, I just updated the TV Glitch Presets V3 editing pack. And if you guys want to check this pack out, I'm going to be giving you guys a discount code. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. Now let's start with the tutorial here. So we're in After Effects. I've added some footage I'm going to be showcasing the effect on. And after you have added your footage, you're going to be making a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And the first effect we're going to be adding is called Grid. You're going to change the size from to width and height sliders. Set the width to 6 and the height to 10. Now it's going to look something like this here. After that I'm going to press Invert Grid. So this is the look we have. Go to Blending Mode, set it to Overlay. So now we get this CRT style here and i think this looks good if you guys want to make the uh, uh, pixels a little bit bigger you guys can drag down the border a little bit so they become bigger but uh, i think this is uh, good enough for uh, this effect so i'm going to keep that this after that i'm going to be adding a universe heat wave and i'm going to increase the heat intensity to 50. set the flow speed to 25 and then the blur amount to 5. That should be good. And the next effect I'm going to be adding is called Universe RGB Separation. And here I'm going to increase the radius to 15. And this is going to create the yeah, RGB separation here. Which looks very cool in my opinion. And as I told you guys earlier, I just updated the TV Glitch Presets V3. And I'm going to be showcasing one of the effects from that pack which I think looks absolutely amazing. And it's very similar to the CRT aesthetic we're trying to make here. So if I just make it invisible, the effect for a second, I'm going to make a new ad adjustment layer, Control alt y And here I'm going to be adding effect 36. And this is how the effect is going to look. It looks absolutely amazing. And if you guys want to check this pack out, I'm going to be giving you guys a discount code. It's going to be Pelle. If you use that code, you will save $5. This is absolutely amazing if you guys love the CRT aesthetic yeah really good looking effect now let's get back to the distort CRT so the next effect here we're going to be adding is called CC lens and here I'm going to increase the size to around 175 and then I like to drag down the convergence to something like this 125 looks nice after that I'm going to be adding a transform Increase the size here to 125. After that, add deep glow. Set the radius to 650. And then exposure to 0 0.35. A very small glow here. And for the last effect, four color gradient. And here we're going to be using the lime color here. So we're going to copy it to all of the other color positions. And then on blending mode, choose hue. And this is a very, very strong green here. So I'm going to drag down the opacity to 35%. So now we just get a subtle green here. Very, very clean effect. And we guys can see here that the CRT is basically moving. And I think it looks really, really good. The distortion is working here. Looks pretty cool. You guys can see the CRT moving here. Looks pretty, pretty good. If you guys want to save this as a preset now, you guys can mark all the effects here, Control a save animation preset, name it, save it, then you have the preset saved. And if you guys liked this effect and thought it looked good, don't forget to like and subscribe and share this tutorial. Don't forget to check out our website editingvisuals.com with amazing editing packs just like the one I showed you guys before. Really cool with CRT aesthetic. And don't forget to check out our socials as well and our Discord server, and I will see you guys soon. Take care, and have a nice day.